Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Dawn and welcome to my channel, Fertility, Hope and Healing. Today guys, I'm gonna go over some exercises that'll be great to optimize your fertility and Exercise is a really important subject to talk about when you're trying to conceive or even if you're pregnant. Um, a lot of times I know when we think about exercise, we think about weightlifting and, and cardio and doing things for like 45 minutes to an hour, but it doesn't need to be that complicated when you're um, trying to get pregnant. The biggest thing that you wanna pay attention to is to not do anything that's really vigorous. One of the things I say to my patients all the time, and just in case you don't know my background, I come from Chinese medicine, over 15 years of experience in helping couples conceive um, when they have difficulties in conceiving. <clears throat> but this channel is for those who are just trying to conceive or having difficulties with conceiving. It's for both. And, but I always say, you know, when you're trying to conceive, act as if you're already pregnant. So don't do those things that you wouldn't do if you were pregnant. And really within the first trimester, it is suggested that you would not do vigorous amounts of exercise because it increases cortisol, it's stressful on the body. Um, and, you know, so things like doing a boot camp or CrossFit or Orange Theory, not to put them down, but I know a lot of people that have Orange Theory memberships end up um, putting those on hold because it's just really vigorous amounts of exercise. And, um, you know, things if you're, if you're a jogger, I would do more jogging and walking and, um, you know, just, just kind of tone it down a bit. <laughs> but let's go over the exercises that would be great to optimize your fertility. And the number one thing is Qigong. You may not think Qigong does much, and if you're not familiar with Qigong, I'm gonna put some uh, links below that will help you. There's this one that's called Seven Minutes of Magic, and there's another one that's specifically for fertility. It's actually a few of them out there. But what Qigong does is it actually uh, replenishes your kidney essence and your kidney chi, and it's really important that that is that's like your vital essence that is so important that, that is strong in order to get pregnant according to Chinese medicine. As you age, it depletes, and but this is the only thing that can increase it, they say. One of the very few things. And so uh, Qigong is really amazing. It's amazing to increase your energy, your core energy. It is also great for calming your parasympathetic nervous system. So I can't even begin to tell you how amazing Qigong is. It helps cir circulate, it helps increase lymphatic flow. Um, but yes, the biggest key is increasing kidney essence. And typically in China, they prescribe this as, for medical purposes. They have it for shoulder pain, for insomnia. So it, you can use Qigong for all kinds of different things. But I'll put a few links below for you guys so you guys can enjoy those videos. The second thing that I would recommend would be yoga, and in particular, doing uh, restorative yoga. It's, it's amazing, again, it calms the parasympathetic system down, um, it relaxes, it's very restorative as it, as it says. It really helps with your stress levels and decreasing, it helps open you up. It'll, there's a lot of hip openers that are really important for uh, pregnancy. The only thing with yoga, there's a few things you need to understand. Just yoga in general, I wouldn't go out and do a, a normal yoga class. Um, some of it may be hard for you, even if it says it's for all levels. Um, it can be difficult if you're not used to doing yoga. But hot yoga, you wouldn't do if you're pregnant. You can't do it if you're trying to conceive. Not good for both men and females, uh, or men and women. And then the other thing is um, any kind of like twisting your core, like those types of movements are also contraindicated as when you're trying to get pregnant or pregnant. Um, those types of movements uh, have a tendency to push things out, so you don't wanna do that when you're trying to get pregnant. You want things to stay in there, okay? So, um, but yeah, restorative yoga would be my second suggestion. The third suggestion would be dancing and specifically hula dancing. Did you know hula dancing was used for fertility over in Hawaii and for birthing? So I never forget, I was a part of my friend's uh, birth and 
um, helping her out with some Chinese medicine and helping her birth the baby. And uh, it was interesting, the midwife came in and did some hula moves with her to open her hips up. It was really, really cool. So um, over here in Phoenix, we actually have a yoga studio that's um, a Hawaiian yoga studio that does hula dancing. I've always wanted to go. Need to get that, needed to get going on that. But yeah, hula dancing is really, really good. So dancing in general is really, really good for fertility. <laughs> Um, just you want to have joy even if you just put on some music and dance but there's some great videos maybe if I can find some hula videos specifically for fertility I'll link those down below also and I'll also link down below to a restorative yoga but yes those three exercises would be really good some honorable mentions would be uh, walking biking hiking those things are really really good getting outdoors getting connected with nature really important okay Getting that vitamin D in the morning, awesome. And that is really good for you. Uh, vitamin D has actually been shown to help with ovulation. So the other thing would be swimming. The only thing with swimming though I've been hearing lately is those with thyroid issues may want to stay away from that, which a lot of us have thyroid issues these days. But uh, swimming is, is one of those things that um, it really depends. Are you chemically sensitive? If you are exposed to chemicals a lot yeah swimming might not be your jam but um, it's so good on your joints and it's really great with pregnancy once you're pregnant so it it's just one of those things you just have to kind of see but yeah those are my top three exercise to optimize fertility I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel check out all those links below if you have any questions give us a comment below if you need fertility coaching we're here for you and blessings on you guys as you try to conceive and grow your family love and blessings